Hi and welcome to another edition of LRD Factory Tips and Trick Sessions. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Extract tool to get some great results when taking out hair from a background. Okay, so here's what um, the before and after looks like and this is what we'll be doing today. Okay, so let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off by grabbing uh, the image of this lady's head. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Okay. I'm going to drag that over to my main composition, holding shift, that will keep it centered, that's where I want it. Now I'm going to go over to filters, extract, um, and then I'm going to select my brush tool on this tool options section here, and I'm going to make that 50, um, and on the extraction part here, I want my smoothness to remain at 35. Um, so keep that there. Okay, so now we're going to uh, create an outline around the outside of the hair um, with the extraction brush. Um, so let's just zoom into that so I can uh, get a better view. If it will zoom. There you go. All right, so let's start up at the top of our head. So we just want to gently get some of that in. Okay, and the aim is to not go too far into the hair, just enough so that we can get a nice, nice balance. And obviously, the sections like this where you've got quite a bit of hair, hair strands, um, you have to go over that. Okay, so far so good. I'll come around this chin here. Be very delicate because this is all freehand. Okay. Not going to do for that part there. I'll finish that up with a smaller brush, probably. Let's go over to the other side. See what it needs to do over there. Okay, and then just do the same over here. Trying to get in as, as nice and tightly as I can. Obviously, when you're doing yours, try and take time around some of the um, some of the edges. The, the more time you spend doing this, the better the extraction will come out. Oh, you can see I've just gone in slightly there. If you do make a mistake like that, just use the erase tool. Come out of that. Okay. That razor tool can be found on the left hand side. Okay, it's just I made a mistake there. Okay, now I think I'm going to change to a, a smaller brush. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to change to a smaller brush now. Um, the brush size I'm going to use for this one is going to be 15. So just go over to your tool options, just like we did in the beginning, change it to 15, and we're going to be um, creating some outlines around the hair loops inside the hair now. Okay, so we can start off at the bottom where we left off. Um,
obviously when you're doing yours you're going to have to use a bit of your own initiative if you feel that you need a smaller brush size then by all means try it out um, it's all about trial and error so you're going to have to really get to practicing with this This tool, once once you get this tool good, you'll be able to um, use it in quite a, a lot of different things. It beats using the magic wand tool anyway, I'll tell you that much. So you just select some of these little details. Okay, I think that's that side done. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, so let's go over to this side now. Okay, just come down here, just curl off around this hair part. Okay, now we've come into the, the neck, we've got a bit more of a sharper edge, so now we can go to the um, this section here in the tool options, we've got a smart highlighting. Make sure you tick that, make sure that's ticked, um, and we want to just start from where we um, left off on the last part. Now um, this is going to follow the outline of the neck, and it's got a pretty precise way of kind of following it without you making too much effort, um, so it's really good to use. Obviously it makes mistakes sometimes. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm not actually making too much effort to actually follow that line. It's, it's kind of forcing me to stay within that line. It's important to make sure you, you, you bring the brush all the way off to the edge of the page, otherwise this will not work. Okay, and do the same on the other side of the neck. And voila. Okay, so now we want to get the um, paintbrush tool that can be found on the um, top left hand side, just under the extraction brush. Click the fill tool, and then we want to click inside the face, and you can see there the face has come up blue, which is exactly what we want. Okay, then we want to press preview. Okay, and this is going to show us um, how well it's extracted the hair. And that's looking pretty good. So I want to press OK. Okay, now you can see here we've got a little bit of tidying up to do. And that's not a problem at all. Just click your eraser tool. Click your eraser tool and just go around certain areas. Make sure it's a small one. This is set at 50, which is cool. I can make it smaller. Um, to go into some of the more detailed parts. 
like that. Yep, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, now I want to get my background. Okay, so let's open up my background. Okay, so I put a background behind that, and you can see that's showing quite well that the hair has been taken out quite well from that. Um, so we've achieved what we want on the extraction side of things. Um, let's make that a bit bigger for you to see. Let's get rid of some of this stuff that I don't need first. That would kind of help. There you go. Okay, so now let's um let's add some um. Uh, finishing uh, effects. So now what I want to do is I want to create a folder. Um, so come down here to your folders, click on the folder. I want to label this effects. Okay, so FX. Okay, and now um, I want to go to my uh, layer tab down here on the adjustment layers. At the bottom right hand corner of the um, page, click on that. Then I want to create a gradient map. So I find my gradient map. Okay. Now I want this to be black to white. That's that should that's what it should be set to start off with. But I want to change this black to a purpley bluey color. Um, so the color I'm going to be using is a 09001F, and that gives me a really nice purpley blue color. Okay, and I'll keep that layer at um, 100%. The opacity, keep the opacity at 100%. Okay, and then um, I want to go on the adjustment layer again. Okay, this time we're going to add some brightness and contrast to it. Now, I want the brightness, um, I'm going to make that minus 41. And then the contrast, I want to make that plus 40. Okay, and that gives us a really nice, a really nice finish there. Okay, I'm happy with that. That looks great. Okay, so uh, that's that finished. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped. Um, if you've learned anything at all from this video, um, or you've liked what you've seen, please comment, um, like, most importantly, subscribe. Um, if you've tried this tutorial out, post your video response or even upload a, uh, an image to Facebook and tag our Facebook like page. Um, you can find our Facebook and Twitter address in the description below. Um, it's really easy to find anyway, it's just forward slash LRD factory. Um, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.